got lucky. Why don't you just give me back my sword, sincerely apologize, and then go cry your eyes out to your grandpa? Consider yourself lucky that I'm not interested in your rusty sword, as I don't have the nasty habit of snatching other people's weapons. All you did was chop down a few monsters. Don't get carried away with yourself. <laughs> if you think you can just take this sword from my hand, go ahead and try. <laughs> My young friends. However, both of you have shortcomings. One of you focuses on dodging and weaving, while the other relies on brute strength, trying to take down targets with a single strike. Who are you? Me. I am just a patient seeking medicine from the Alchemy Commission. A passerby, if you will. I thought I'd see my fill of impressive fights during the war dance. Yet here I am, able to witness a remarkable fight at the Alchemy Commission, of all places. Well, the Lafu is never short of surprises. However, I have a small suggestion for you. Why don't you settle this dispute fair and square in the war dance's ring? That way, you can resolve your differences with a proper duel and put your grudges behind you. Grudges? Uh, no, not at all. Yunli and I, we were just sparring. Hmm. <laughs> sparring? You summoned your flying swords and she swung her sword with full strength. No grudges between you. Hmm, I don't believe it. Aha! What brings you here, Lady Feishao? Have you finished your health consultation with the Dragon Lady? Grandpa always talks about you. Could it be that you are... The Merlin's Claw of the Sanjo Yaqing? Hmm. Looks like I'm quite famous on the Sanjo Lafu, too. Of course. Everyone has heard of the Great General. Known to all, and unbeknown to none. Vanquishing General? Isn't that title a bit too narcissistic? <laughs> Uh, I don't like it. Ooh, I heard there's a dozing general on the Lafu, so I came up with a humble nickname for myself. The Lacking General. Lacking in worries, regrets, and rivals. Sounds much better, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a befitting title that sounds both humble and impressive. Now that the sparring session is over, Yanqing and Yunli, shouldn't you politely thank General Feishao for her guidance and ferry the hatchet? Uh, here's your sword. Keep it safe. Or it might get taken away again. <laughs> By the way, we haven't settled the score yet. I'll defeat you fair and square next time we fight. This is how she apologizes? Now that I finally got my sword back, I should report to the Seat of Divine Foresight. I'll take my leave, General Feishao. Oh, by the way, Miss Lingxia, if you've got some free time, I'd like to invite you to the Seat of Divine Foresight for a chat with General Jingyuan. I think there's more to those personal grudges you mentioned earlier. Thanks for stepping in, General Feishao. 
Otherwise, I'd have had to knock them out with my incense. Not at all. Just doing what you asked. How about we call it even as payment for the healer lady's consultation? Sorry, but even a general needs to pay their bills. We don't do credit here. And let's not forget, you'd have been waiting decades for a chance to see the dragon lady if it weren't for me. Well, you can always send the bill to the seat of divine foresight and say it's for mentoring those kids. After all, it was quite the effort splitting them up. I nearly had to get tough. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I need to find a spot and get some fresh air.